Nadeda Mountbatten, Marchioness of Milford Haven, was born as Nadeda Mikhailovna Torby on March 28, 1896, in Paris. Her heritage was quite exceptional, being a descendant of two of the most prominent families in Russia and Germany. Her father, Grand Duke Michael Mikhailovich, was a member of the Russian imperial family, while her mother, Countess Sophie von Marenberg, was the granddaughter of Alexander Pushkin. Their marriage was not approved by the Russian imperial family since Michael married more genetically, which deprived his descendants of any rights to the Russian throne. Despite this, Nadeda received an education and upbringing befitting her aristocratic lineage. During World War I, she began her charitable work, aiding wounded soldiers. After the war, her family moved to Britain, where in 1916, she married George Mountbatten, to N.D. Marquess of Milford Haven. This marriage strengthened the ties between British and European nobility, considering the close connections the Mountbatten family had with the British royal family. Nadeda was renowned for her beauty and charm. Her sense of style and fashion often attracted attention, making her one of the most prominent figures in the aristocracy of her time. However, her true passion lay in charity. She actively supported various organizations, helped those affected during World War E, and worked to improve living conditions in many areas. One of the most striking aspects of her life was her impressive jewelry collection, which she either inherited or received as wedding gifts. Particularly noteworthy was her collection of diamonds and emeralds, featuring the unique ruby Kokoshnik tiara of Milford Haven. This tiara, adorned with faceted and cabochon rubies and diamonds in the shape of clovers, stars, heraldic lilies, and crescents, resembled a traditional Russian Kokoshnik. Some of its elements could be detached and worn as brooches. It was crafted by Bolin, the Russian court jeweler, around 1890. The Kokoshnik was presented as a wedding gift by Grand Duke Michael Mikhailovich and Countess Sophie to Countess Nadeda in 1916. An identical tiara, but with sapphires instead of rubies, was later gifted to Nadeda's younger sister, Lady Zia on her marriage to Sir Harold Werner. Upon receiving the Bolin tiara as a wedding gift, the Marchioness of Milford Haven was photographed wearing the ruby Kokoshnik at the opening of Parliament in 1924. Lady Milford Haven also wore the ruby Kokoshnik tiara at the coronation of King George Vi and Queen Elizabeth in 1937, when she also donned a large Kebacon ruby pendant, likely inherited from the Romanov family. Unlike many other family jewels, which were sold off over the years, the ruby Kokoshnik tiara was passed down from the two Andy Martianists to her son, the three Rudy Marquis, and then to his son, the four Th Marquis. It was worn by Penelope Thompson when she married Lord Ever Mountbatten in 1994. Princess Margaret helped Penny pin the tiara in her hair so that the giant family heirloom wouldn't fall off. None of the current wives of the Marquesses have been publicly photographed in the ruby Kokoshnik. However, at some point in later years, the family sold the tiara, and it has since changed hands multiple times, eventually being acquired by a Russian businessman. In recent years, the tiara has been exhibited at various shows, including a 2004 exhibition at the Hermitage Museum in St. Petersburg. Another remarkable Martianess of Milford Haven was Victoria, who owned the stunning Hess Emerald brooch. This antique emerald and diamond brooch, Featuring a detachable emerald and diamond center set against diamond foliage adorned with emeralds, with two small emerald and diamond drops and three pear-shaped emerald and diamond pendants, dates back to 1830. It originally belonged to Princess Elizabeth of Prussia, Princess Charles of Hesse darmstadt Princess Elizabeth gifted the brooch, along with an emerald cross and a pair of earrings, to her granddaughter, Princess Victoria of Hesse. Upon her marriage to Prince Louis of Bettenberg, Later the Marquess of Milford Haven, in 1884, just a year before her death, the emerald brooch was one of the few pieces of jewelry that Princess Victoria did not take with her on a visit to her sisters, Serena Alexandra Fyodorovna and Grand Duchess Elizabeth Fyodorovna. In Russia in 1914 when World War I broke out, she had left her jewels in Russia for safekeeping, but they were lost during the Russian Revolution. The Hess Emerald brooch appears to have been among the jewels gifted by Princess Victoria to her younger daughter, Lady Louise Mountbatten, when she married Crown Prince Gustav Adolf of Sweden in 1923. Crown Princess Louise notably wore the brooch and emerald cross with Queen Sophia's nine-pronged tiara in an official portrait taken in the 1930s. In 1946, the widowed Princess Sophie of Greece, 
daughter of Prince Andrew of Greece and Princess Alice of Battenberg, remarried Prince George William of Hanover. Shortly after World War E, the Hess family jewels were hidden at the family home, Friedrichshof Castle, which had been requisitioned for use as a club by American soldiers. The jewels were discovered and stolen by the soldiers, and the theft was not uncovered until Princess Sophie was preparing for her second marriage. To compensate for her niece's loss of jewelry, the childless future Queen Louise is believed to have gifted her the Hess Emerald Brooch and Emerald Cross for her wedding, which took place while Princess Victoria was still alive. Shortly after the wedding, Prince George William and Princess Sophie had to sell some of their jewels, and the Hess Emerald Brooch seems to have been one of the items sold. The brooch was acquired by Prince Johannes von Thurn on Texas for his wife, the flamboyant Princess Gloria, who wore it alongside the Thurn on Texas Pro. However, when Prince Johannes died in 1990, leaving debts of 500 million, Princess Gloria, acting as guardian for her minor son, sold many jewels and other assets to preserve the family as fortune, among them the Hess Emerald Brooch, whose current whereabouts are unknown. We cannot omit the story of the Hess Sapphire Necklace. When Princess Alice of the United Kingdom, the second daughter of Queen Victoria, married Prince Louis of Hess in 1862, she received several stunning wedding gifts, including the Hess Strawberry Leaf Tiara, Pearl and Diamond Stars, and this striking pearl of sapphires, pearls, and diamonds, comprising a necklace, pair of earrings, brooch, and bracelet, created by Gerard. The pro was selected by the late Prince Albert, the Prince Consort, shortly before his death as a gift to the bride from her brother, the then Prince of Wales. Princess Alice was depicted wearing the sapphire and diamond pro in a family portrait painted by Christian Carl August Noak for Queen Victoria in 1871. After the untimely death of Princess Alice in 1878, Although some believe her sapphire pearl became a treasured heirloom of the Hess royal family, the jewels were actually inherited by her eldest daughter, Princess Victoria. Victoria wore the sapphire necklace at her wedding to Prince Louis of Battenberg, her father's cousin, in 1884. At the same time, her father secretly married his lover, a union that sparked severe disapproval from the family and was annulled within weeks. Princess Victoria also donned the sapphire necklace for a series of portraits, paired with a sapphire and diamond tiara she received as a wedding gift. In 1914, World War I erupted, and Princess Victoria traveled to Russia to visit her sister, Serene Alexandra Fyodorovna. She left her jewels, likely including the sapphire peror, in Russia for safekeeping, where they were lost during the Russian Revolution. However, in 2018, an identical natural pearl, sapphire, and diamond tiara, Necklace from the 1870s was auctioned by the 70th Baron Ashburton at Sotheby's Magnificent Jewels and Noble Jewels Sale in Geneva. Although the estimated value of the tiara, necklace was between 150, 0 and 250, 0 Swiss francs, it disappeared from the Sotheby's catalogue. Whether it was withdrawn from a private sale or pulled from the auction remains unknown as the final selling price was never disclosed. And which of these magnificent jewels caught your eye the most?